Hey guys, welcome back. This is Professor Hank, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to serialize objects in Python. Right? So, this is a process in which you can store stuff into files and retrieve them later, right? So, not text files, okay? These are going to be a form of binary files. Okay, so if you've got like a list, a dictionary, for example, or tuple, or maybe some custom objects that you created yourself based off of some class, then want to store them in a file, got to pickle, right? So you got to do some object serialization. So pickling is the name of the process, and this writes the uh, objects to files, right? And so we'll take a look at the process of pickling, which is... You know, writing the object to the file and then we'll also look at the unpickling process which is to retrieve you know what was saved in the file that object and then load it into your program so you can use it again okay so the process of pickling something is actually pretty straightforward we're going to import a module called pickle and that module is going to have code in it to pretty much do all the work for us. Okay, so we're gonna import that module. I'll write the steps here. Import the pickle module, right? And then we're going to uh, open a file for writing in binary mode, right? So this is gonna be the pickle process. Okay, then we're gonna use a method called dump, right? to write our object to the, to the file that we opened. And then we'll go ahead and close our file, right? So it's gonna be a pretty straightforward, pretty easy process. All right, so I'll create a list object, right? So I'll call it uh, numbers and I'll just assign to it, you know, just some numbers I'm making up here. So eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine, okay? And so I want to store this list. I want to write it to a file, okay? So in order to do that, I have to uh, import the pickle module, okay? And then, that's number one, and then I have to open a file that I want to write the uh, list to, that I want to write the object to. And so we got to provide a name for that file, so I'll just call it, um, my data dot dat okay and I'm going to open it for writing and then I'm going to use B for binary okay and so then I have to assign you know the reference to the file object I got to create a variable for that right and so I got that and then this is well once I'm done before I even forget I'll go ahead and close the file once I'm finished with it but now I want to write the list to the file then all I have to do is use this method that's defined in the pickle module called dump, okay? And the arguments are gonna be the name of the object, in this case it's the list numbers, that you wanna write to the file, and it's gonna be the variable that you assigned the file object to, okay? So first thing that goes, the first argument is gonna be the list, and then the second is, you know, the file that you want it to go to basically, right? So the file object you want to write it to. So let's go ahead and save that. And then we'll go ahead and run it. Okay, so no output. I didn't write anything on the screen, but if I take a look at the directory, right, there is, um, my data dot dat. So that was the file that was created and it's got 22 bytes in it. So the serialization part happened, the pickling happened. I wrote my list to that file. Okay, so what we wanna do next is we wanna unpickle. Okay, we wanna unpickle it. And um, what that means is we're gonna read in the list, the object back from my data dot dat into our program. Okay, so that's going to be pretty easy to do too. It's just going to be the reverse 
of what, what we just did, right? We're gonna unpickle our pickle. So, you know, I'll create uh, another file object. I'll go ahead and open my data dot bat again, but this time I'm gonna open it for reading in binary mode. Okay, and then when I'm done with it, I'm gonna close it. Okay, and so I want to read the first object in that file. And now there's only one in here. We'll we'll look at an example here in a second of what you want to do if you have multiple objects. But what I want to do here now is I want to load, right? I want to load in to my program's memory, you know, the object from the file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the load function that's defined in the pickle module. Okay, and I'm gonna specify the variable that I used to open the file. I'm gonna put that as an argument, just like I did with dump here. But what load's gonna do is it's gonna read from that file object. It's gonna say, hey, give me the object. It's gonna deserialize it, whatever it reads. And then it's gonna return that object. So then I could assign what it returns to another variable and then once that's done I'll print my new numbers list right so let's go ahead and check it out oh forgot a uh, closing quote there sorry about that let's do it again so there's my uh, there's my list eight six seven five three zero nine so let me just summarize what I did here Right in my program, I have this list that I assigned to variable numbers. I opened a file called my data dat dat my data dot dat for writing in binary mode. I then use the dump function in the pickle module to take the numbers object, right? This list, write it to the file object that's connected to the file my data dot dat, and then close the file. Then I reopened it this time for reading in binary mode and then I said let's go ahead or I ran this load function and I specified where I wanted the object to come from where I wanted to read from right which is gonna be my data dot dat and then it deserialized the object that it read from the file and then returned it in this case plus numbers reconstitute it rebuilt it put it into the new numbers variable or assigned the new numbers variable we closed the file and then I printed that list. Okay, so load works great. It's gonna go ahead and grab an object from the file and or deserialize it, right? When you're when you're writing an object to a file, that's known as serializing the, the object. When you read it back in to your program, you're deserializing it. Okay, now what if I had more than one object in there? So let me go ahead and um, create some other objects. So maybe I'll have a tuple this time. Maybe I'll call this, um, I don't know, sounds. Right? And so we'll say, um, you know, now and uh, wolf. And uh, I don't know what else can we do here. Um, hi, right? So I guess, uh, you know, cat meow is a. Uh, dog woofs and a person says hi. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll write both of those okay, to our file and maybe I'll do one more, right? So there was a list, there was a tuple and uh, Let's see here. Maybe a dictionary. How about a dictionary? So um, Stuff and I'll just have a couple of things in here. I four and street ninety nine. I can't think of anything here. I'm just making stuff up. So we'll dump that to our file also. Okay, so we're gonna need to have ourselves a loop that's gonna continuously read objects in from our file from our data file okay so we're not going to know 
how many objects there are in the file until we actually you know, get to the end of the file until we've actually finished reading it. So we're going to need a way to be able to detect well, once we've reached that file or the end of that file. So the way that's going to work is we're going to check for an exception, right? So we're going to need a loop and in that loop, we're going to try to unpickle the next object in the, in the file. And if successful, cool, I'll just print out the, the, the object for you to see it working. But if it fails to unpickle something, that means that it reached the end of the file. And so that'll raise an exception. That'll raise an EOF error exception. Okay, and when that happens, that'll be our signal that we've read everything from the file and we're done with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and make it happen. Okay, so what I want to do at the body in the body of my loop, what I want to repeat is I want to unpickle stuff, right? And then I want to print out what I unpickled to show you, as I was saying, right? Now, I'm going to try to do this, okay? And if successful, awesome, we'll load and print. But if not, if we're not successful, it's because we've reached the end of the file. And so an EOF error exception will get raised. And so then that'll signal that we should break our loop. So we'll create a while loop that'll be condition based, right? And so what'll happen is, is so long as we haven't reached the end of the file, keep reading uh, objects from that file. So I'll use a flag variable for this. I'll call it end of file, right? And we'll initialize that to false because initially we haven't gotten to the end of the file, okay? So here comes our loop part, our loop header part. So while we're not at the end of the file, then do this stuff, okay? Try to read the next object from the file and then print it, okay? But as soon as that fails, as soon as this attempt to load from the file, the load, the read the object from the file fails, that's gonna raise an exception. So we'll jump down to the accept suite, to the exceptions suite. And at that point, we'll want to change our flag variable to true, right? So that'll cause the not end of file here to evaluate to false, and then that'll bust us out of our loop and we'll be done, okay? So let's go ahead and try it. All right, so what do we got? Okay, so let's trace through the code really quick. There's our three objects. We open the file for writing in binary mode. We dump the three objects to the file. We close the file because we were done at that point. We reopen the file for reading in binary mode. We set this end of file flag to false. And so while not end of file, while not false at this point, that's true, not false is true. Go in here and try to load the first object from the file, which we did, and it was assigned to O. And then we printed out O. And so you see, there's the list, 8675309. Okay, so the accept part got skipped because we didn't reach the end of the file. So you go back up to the top of the loop, not into file, still evaluates to true. Enter into the try suite here, read the next object from the file, sign that O, print it out. We see meow wolf hi. Right? The accept part to get skipped, go up to the top, and the file still false, so not false is true. We go inside of here, read the next object from the file. That was that dictionary. It gets assigned O, I print that out. Accept gets skipped, go up to the top. All right, so not false, because out of end of file hasn't changed yet, so we enter the body of the, of the loop. We try to read the next thing from the data file. Well, there's nothing there. So that raises the AOF error, the end of file error exception. So we jump down to the accept suite. False gets overwritten with true. So we go back up to the top of the loop. And so not true is what? False. So that breaks the loop. We close the file and we're done. Okay, so let's summarize what we talked about in this video. In the video, I showed you how to serialize objects in Python. Really simple process process known as pickling. 
And so this uh, process allows us to take objects such as lists, dictionaries, tuples, and store them, write them directly to a file as a stream of bytes, right? So that's the process of serialization or object serialization, referred to as pickling in Python. We went through that process, open the file, dump it, close the file. And then we looked at the unpickling process, which is the reverse, which is deserializing objects, which means read the objects back from the file into your program's memory. So that way your program can use them once again. So it's just the reverse, open the file for reading in binary mode, do a load, right, uh, from the pickle module, and we'll use the load function. And the load function is going to return, once it successfully reads the object, it's going to return that object, which you can assign to a variable. And you can do with that variable whatever you want to do with it that you could with the uh, object that was read, right? So once you've done that, close the file. Now, if you got multiple objects in the file that you need to read in, that you need to use load with, then you got to use a loop. And once you reach the end of the file, the load function from the pickle module raises the uh, exception. Okay, so you can use that to detect when you're done reading objects from the file. And that's it. Okay, so that's going to bring this video to a close. If you felt that the video was useful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you thought that the video sucked, well, then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well. If you'd like to see more videos, if you're interested in more content from the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, if you're a student of mine and you have further questions, feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.